Andromeda Galaxy's massive halo is already bumping into our Milky Way Galaxy. Now we know that in space exploration, in astronomy, we have seen images of galaxies colliding with each other. And uh, the astronomers are telling us that in millions of years, the Andromeda Galaxy will be colliding with our Milky Way Galaxy. And this has to do with Andromeda's massive halo bumping into our Milky Way Galaxy already. This is by Rob Gardner, NASA's Global Space Flight Center, phys.org article. This is on Better Reality. The headline image shows the location of 43 quasars scientists used to probe Andromeda's gaseous halo. The quasars, the very distant, brilliant cores of active galaxies powered by black holes, are scattered far behind the halo, allowing scientists to probe multiple regions and looking through the immense halo at the quasar's light. The team observed how this light is absorbed by the halo and how that absorbed change, absorption changes in different regions. By tracing the absorption of light coming from the background quasars, scientists are able to probe the halo's material. In the landmark study, scientists using NASA's Hubble Space Telescope have mapped the immense evolve, uh, envelope of gas called the halo surrounding the Andromeda Galaxy. That's our nearest large galactic neighbor. Scientists were surprised to find that this tenuous, nearly invisible halo of diffuse plasma extends 1.3 million light years from the galaxy. That's about halfway to our Milky Way galaxy and as far as 2 million light years in some directions. This means that Andromeda's halo is already bumping into the halo of our own galaxy, the Milky Way. They also found that the halo has a layered structure with two main nests and uh, distinct shells of gas. This is the most comprehensive study of a halo surrounding a galaxy. Understanding the huge halos of gas surrounding galaxies is immensely important, explained co-investigator Samantha Barrick of Yale University in New Haven, Connecticut. She said this reservoir of gas contains fuel for future star formation within the galaxy, as well as outflows from events such as supernova. It's full of clues regarding the past and future evolution of the galaxy, and we're finally able to study it in great detail in our closest galactic neighbor. We find the inner shell that extends to about a half million light years is far more complex and dynamic. This is what study leader Nicholas Lehrer of University of Notre Dame, Indiana says. He says the outer shell is smoother and hotter. This difference is likely a result of the impact of supernova activity in the galaxy's disk more directly affecting the inner halo. A signature of this activity is the team's discovery of a large amount of heavy elements in the gaseous halo of Andromeda. Heavier elements are cooked up in the interior of stars and then injected into space, sometimes violently as a star dies. The halo is then contaminated with its, this material from stellar explosions. Now, the Andromeda galaxy, also known as M31, is a majestic spiral of perhaps as many as a trillion stars and comparable in size to our Milky Way. At a distance of two and a half billion light years, it's so close to us that the galaxy appears as a cigar-shaped smudge of light, a huge in the autumn sky. If its gaseous halo could be viewed with a naked eye, it would be about three times the width of the Big Dipper. This would easily be the biggest feature on the nighttime sky. Through a program called Project Amiga, that's absorption map of ionized gas in Andromeda, the study examined the light from 43 quasars, the very distant, brilliant cores of active galaxies powered by black holes, located far beyond Andromeda. The quasars are scattered behind the halo, allowing scientists to probe multiple regions. And looking through the halo at the quasar's light, the team observes how this light is absorbed by the Andromeda halo and how that absorption changes in different regions. The immense Andromeda halo is made of very rarefied and ionized gas that does not emit radiation that's easily detectable. Therefore, tracing the absorption of light coming from a background source is a better way to probe this material. The researchers used the unique capability of Hubble's Cosmic, Cosmic Origin Spectrograph, or COS for short, to study the ultraviolet light from the quasars. Ultraviolet light is absorbed by Earth's atmosphere, which makes it impossible to observe 
with ground-based telescopes. The team used COS to detect ionized gas from carbon, silicon, and oxygen. An, auto, an atom becomes ionized when radiation strips one or more electrons from it. Andromeda Halo has been probed before by Leonard's team. In 2015, they discovered that the Andromeda Halo is large and massive, but there was little hint of its complexity. Now it's mapped out in more detail, leading it to its size and mass being far more accurately determined. Previously, there was very little information, only six quasars with one million light years of the galaxy. This new program provides much more information on this inner region of Andromeda's halo. This is what Christopher Hauck, uh, the co-investigator of Notre Dame, explained. Probing gas within this radius is important as it represents something of a gravitational sphere of influence for Andromeda. Because we live inside the Milky Way, scientists cannot easily interpret the signature of our own galaxy's halo, but they believe the halos of Andromeda and the Milky Way must be very similar since these two galaxies are quite similar. The two galaxies are on a collision course and will merge to form a giant elliptical galaxy beginning about 4 billion years from now. The scientists have studied gaseous halos of more distant galaxies, but those galaxies are much smaller on the sky, meaning the number of bright enough background quasars to probe their halos, usually only one per galaxy. This, uh, this is a true unique experiment because only with Andromeda do we have information on its halo along with only one or two sight lines, but over 40. This is groundbreaking for capturing the complexity of galaxy halo beyond our own Milky Way. In fact, Andromeda is the only galaxy in the universe for which this experiment can be done now and only with Hubble telescope. Only with an ultraviolet sensitive future space telescope will scientists be able to routinely undertake this type of experiment beyond the approximately 30 galaxies comprising the local group. So Project Amiga has also given us a glimpse of the future, said Lehrer. This is on phys.org by Rob Garner, NASA, Goodard Space Flight Center. This is on Better Reality, and it's uh, on uh, Creative Commons. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.